one hell of a thought to know that in about two minutes I fucked my life pretty damn good. Oh yeah. I'll talk to her for a minute. Hey. Mm -hmm. sure. How you doing? What's going on? Talk back here real quick. Who you work for? Really? Thanks for your time. Oh, okay. I, I know, I'm under equipped. Okay, because uh, normally you do, if you're out here, man, if you're making a traffic stop, you're just, just going to have to stop it. Alright? Are you. What do you, you say you work for Brandon the Sheriff's? Yes, sir. Well, do you have an ID with you? I mean, this is this is all I got. I mean, like I said, I'm under I'm under equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. To the courthouse for what? To get my crap. Okay. I know it makes no sense. I caught him going 120 down I-40. Okay. Why do you have lights on this vehicle? Personal. I I know. Do you have an ID with you at all? No, I keep it on my uniform. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Brendan Wozinski. What is it? Brendan Wozinski. Brandon? Yes, sir. How do you spell that? B R E N D E N. And your last name? W Y S Y N S K I. Hold on. W I W Y? Yes, sir. S Y N S K I. So, Wozinski? Wozinski? Is that how you spell it? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth on? Right. Sam Montana, Adam Pity. Sam Montana, Adam. I'm going to be at Frontage Road and 4th. Can you start me a unit and see if there is a BCSO supervisor that can come to my 20? Advice. I'm going to be out with one of the units. Yeah, hey, just hang tight, man. And I'm not, I'm not here yet. I'm going to eat 49 to advise me it's and I'm not here to mess with you, man. It's just the thing is, yeah, he was speeding, dude. You could have called it in, and because if you get into shooting, you're, you're right. Speeding. All right, man. I, I understand. Uh, right. it, this, for starters, I know this looks really bad. Right. This looks really bad. This screams whacker. Right. How long you been on? About three years. Okay. I've been on for like 13 years. All right. So. Uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect, and I'm not saying that I've never done anything to, to, you know, against protocol. But you need to be a little bit more careful, all right? Yes, so just do me a favor, hang tight for a second, okay? Yes, sir. And we're gonna, um, and that's it, all right? Once we, once we're done here, um, we're done, all right? So just give me a bit, all right? Thanks. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Sam went to Adam Pity. Okay. We're going to be at the Wix on 4th Street. Sam 14 using code. Negative code, but I am going to need a supervisor for myself. Good for him, we're on the 21 now, they're asking. Hey, Brendan. Um, in the meanwhile, man, until I get somebody out here, man, do me a favor. I'm not going to handcuff you, but I'm going to have you sit in back, in back of my car, all right? All right. Do you have anything on you, man? Any weapons Just or anything? Keys. Okay. Um, keys and wallet. That's fine. Just have a seat, all right? All right. Try to get, get everything cleared up, man. Um, just have a seat. Give me one second. What's up, man? All right. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. Okay. I'm not a cop. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to be. Where'd you get honest. that badge from? I bought it offline. Offline. Okay. Do me a favor. Stay, stay in here, okay? For a second. I'm live. Okay. Um, I was heading northbound on 4th Street. See this unit. 54. Or 54 on the car. I'm like, okay. You know, it's a... Uh, it's this car that's right here. 
and the guy was wearing jeans, no gun belts, no nothing, a t-shirt, and I'm like, and just wearing like an Air Force hat. So I'm like, that's strange. So I flip around, and his plates come back to a civilian, doesn't come back to, you know, a skip or anything. So I stop, I talk to him for a minute, and he's like, I asked him, who do you work for? And he's like, oh, I work for a SO. I'm like, yeah, hey, it's really done. Oh, you've been out three years? Oh, okay. Well, you're kind of ill-equipped to, you know, to be fit to form anybody. And he's got lights. And and he's got a package right here, too. And, and, I'm, and I'm standing here, and I'm like, okay, this one looks weird. He gives me his name, and I double-check it with the license plate, and it comes back to him. And he's got lights on, too. So the plate and him come back together. He first told me he was born in 94. When I checked the place, he was born in 2001. And I double checked with MVD. His his oil end comes back to 2001. Uh, I had him sat him sitting back in my car because that's kind of weird to me. And right now, when I was getting out, he's like, "Hey, let me talk to you." Again. I was like, "No, I'm not a cop. I just bought this badge online." And he has lights and everything. Like 54 to park because he said it was going like 120 on the interstate. So he's not a BCSO no, employee at all? No. But we're going to have BCSO come out anyways. Just because he's impersonating a BCSO. And he got to look like a BCSO badge. Do you have him detained now? Yeah, he's in the back of my car. Oh, okay. Just because, like, I don't know who you are. And you don't have anything other than a badge. You don't even have an ID on it. So that's where we're at right now. Okay. I haven't been him his rights or anything. He just told me that statement that was free work. So. Yeah, it was just really weird. Yeah, definitely. So. If you want to come with me, we're going to handcuff him. Because right now he's not handcuffed, I just had him set in the car. Okay. Because yeah. at that point I was still trying to figure it out. Okay. And he had to give me a statement. Okay. Hey, Brendan, step out of the vehicle for a second, man. Can you face the vehicle? At this point right now, you are being under arrest. Do you understand? Okay. Turn your, hands for, turn your hands this way. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat. And give me a moment and then we're going to talk a little bit more, okay? Alright. Going off. Hey, Brandon, step out of the vehicle for a second. Okay, please, the vehicle. At this point right now, you are being under arrest. Turn your, for, turn your hands this way. There you go. Go ahead and have a seat. And give me a moment and then we're going to talk a little bit more, okay? If I take a look at your badge, would you be okay with that? Yeah. Um, you got this online? Mm, it was well, at one point my father's. Okay, what's your, can I ask your name? Brandon. Brandon? Yes, sir. And your last name, Brandon? Wazinski. What's your last name? Wazinski. Wazinski. Oh my god, even you spelled it wrong. How, how do you spell Wazinski? Did you? W-Y-S-Y-N-S-K-I. Okay, never mind, you got it right. You got it right? Everyone gets it wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm very interested.
Well, thank you all. Hold on. Do you mind if I call my wife and tell her I'm not coming home tonight? Just, just it's going to be a decision a... these gentlemen make. If you'll hang tight. Yeah, give us a little a bit, all right, okay? Matt? Well, uh... All right, Brandon, I'm just going to put on the seatbelt, okay? <laughs> so I need you to lean back a little bit. Thank you. Can I please help my wife? I'll give you, um, we'll give, when we get to the substation, I'll give you, um, we'll give her a call, okay? All right, Brandon, I'm going to take off the seatbelt. Right, come on out. Feet first, it's just easier that way. We'll get your head in a little bit. We'll get it right now. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll have somebody pick it up right now. Okay. We're going to go down to the left, on, down the hallway. I said I wanted these seats over here. Which one? Whatever you want. Which one you want? That one? Let me take off one of the handcuffs. That way you can sit down a little bit more comfortable. Okay, going to spin. There you go. John 131 to see Before I start everything, I just want to advise you of your Miranda rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by court. Um, at this time, if you wish to talk to me, you can stop talking to me at any time. Uh, would you like to talk to me about what happened tonight? Yeah, I'm just well. I'll own it. I'll own it. Okay, so... Well, let's start from the beginning. So, what happened tonight? Well, you just want. Can you just tell me from the beginning what happened when, before I approached you? Um, I was going to work. I caught this guy flying down the highway at one twenty. Mm -hmm. Where Where do you work at? I work at Albuquerque Courtesy and Parking. Courtesy and Parking? Mm -hmm. Is that for the city or who does that for? It's a security company. Okay. And say that again? The yeah. Albuquerque? Courtesy and Parking. Courtesy and Parking. Okay. Oh, I'm like... Okay. How do you know the, how fast the other car was going? Uh, behind him. Okay. And then what happened when you saw him going that fast? Was it on the freeway, on the street? Freeway. Okay, then what happened? Flashed my lights, pulled him over. Okay. And then that's, the lights about, in, that's about the time that you got there. Okay. The lights, were they in your car or personal car or company car? My car. Your personal car? Yes. Okay. Um, who installed the lights in your car? I did. You did? Okay, and um, when I peeked into your car, I also saw that you had some sort of radio. Is that, that yours too? Okay. Um, okay. And then when I made contact with you, I noticed you had a badge. Who? Where'd you get that badge from? Uh, it belonged to my dad. It belongs to your dad? When, when was well, he? It, it, 
it did. Is he is he still around or did he pass away? Well, he was killed. Oh, he was killed. Okay. When was he killed? About five, six years ago. Okay. When did he leave the department? He didn't leave. He was killed in line of duty. Oh, was he now? Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Um. Okay. And you said he he used to work for BCSO, Bernalillo County Sheriff's. Okay. And when I approached you, why did you identify yourself as a as a deputy or a part of BCSO? I freaked out. Okay. Um, okay, because I asked you your date of birth and you initially gave right. me something in 1994. Right. Right. Okay. Um, okay, what did the, the, the driver say to you? Uh, he said he was something about his sister in the hospital mm -hmm. and that he was trying to get there. I told him it's not worth killing someone over. Okay. How old was the guy? How do you look? How old did he look? Uh, based off of his license, he was about 60. And 60? I, didn't, I didn't do the math in my head. Okay. Do you remember his name at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any weapons in your vehicle? Um, there's a handgun in a locked case under the seat. Okay. Um. Is there anything inside the vehicle that we should know about? Uh, the glove box, I think I have a set of handcuffs and some extra ammunition for the handgun. Okay. All right. All right. For now, that'll conclude our interview. Um, more than likely, uh, somebody else will give you a phone call later on and just try to go a little bit more in depth, okay? Nah, man, your car got towed. Yeah, I know. It's in the impound lot now. Yeah. <laughs> you guys at least got my stuff out of there, right? What do you mean? My phone and stuff. So, since it's being seized for evidence, everything stays in there. God damn it. Yeah, buddy. Can't be pretending to be a cop. Yeah, I know. I'm stupid. Lesson learned, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Cool. If only I can find this. Cool. There it is. Thank you. I hate seatbelts, man, but we have to do it. What? Someone with a good taste in music. That's great. You like Kim Brown? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, huh? Jail, they allow one phone call and you can do it. Well, the problem is I don't know her number. Oh man, you don't? No. She's your wife and you don't know her number? Well, it's because she changed it like seven different fucking times. So I just got tired of remembering it. I know, it sounds shitty. Uh huh. And besides, I have a smartphone, remembers the number for you. I know, it's, it's really crappy, but she's probably going to be scared shitless in the morning. You think so? Yeah, because I don't necessarily have a safe job. Gotcha. You know that shit happens, and you know, I tell her stories about you know, a lot of our security guards have gotten shot at. Uh-huh, and, and, and she gets scared? She wants me to not work there. That's gotcha. Not, that's the level of scared she's at, and me not coming home. 
mm -hmm. is going to peak that. John, one, two, four, pretty. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 1916 one mail to MGC, mileage 5-2. Okay, so how is this all going to work? What do you mean? So when I get to the jail, I'm going to get processed and everything, then how do we... And then, honestly, you will probably be released by tomorrow. And then, so, they are going to forward this case to a detective, and he's just going to come out and talk to you and see what's going on. Okay. And then, um, after that, obviously, you're going to have court, and then from there, it's just, you know, you just go through the process. It's, it could be a long process, it could be a short process. So then they'll set me up with the hearing date and everything. Right, the detective right. detective will do his job. Exactly. Okay, so what about my car and all the property in it? That's... So once um, the detective is done processing that, you know, checking out the lights that you put on your car and the plate or whatever, um, you're going to get your stuff back. All right. But they just have to, you know, investigate it first and everything, see what's going on with the case, and then... Uh, I'm pretty sure it should go back to you. It's just a case now, you know? Yeah. It's one hell of a thought to know that in about... I fucked my life pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't be doing that, man. And it's awfully dangerous. What if that car, you know, what if that person inside that car had a gun and would have shot you? Yeah. Scary stuff. You really put your life at risk there. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, these cars are super safe somehow. <laughs> these chargers. I'm trying to get it to release because holy crap, it feels like someone has me in like a, a restraint hold. Uh -huh. The tire on my car blew out. Gave a 
calls my boss. He wasn't happy about that. He was, you know, if, if you don't get to your post, yeah. uh, you're going to get written up. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Walk 11 miles? Yep. On the highway? Ooh. And when I went to go pick up my check, he dug into me about how the only reason you can call out is if we're dead. Oh, wow. So, you know, I hate it. How come you didn't get a new job then? Well, I'm trying to find a new job. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah you I, should. I have been trying to find a new job. Uh huh. So you're 18 and you are already married? Yep. Damn. And I have a kid on the way. No way. Yep, my wife is 36. Oh my gosh, almost due, huh? Mm -hmm. Boy or girl? Girl. Nice. That's she's, uh, awesome. she's due October 15th. Oh, really? That is coming up. I know, I'm scared. I bet, man. You're gonna be a dad. Gotta be responsible. That's a good question. I mean, on, on a fair note, it's not really that far away. From your house? My house is off of 98. So, do you have like any uh, other family's numbers that you remember? I mean, I do, but they don't live here. Oh, they don't live here. Can Do they know your wife's number? You could always call for an Uber, man. I'm sorry? You could always call for an Uber. An Uber? Yeah. Well, Just... the detective has my phone. Yeah, but from MDC. Before you get out. Just let them know about your situation, and I'm pretty sure that they will give you, you know, they're, they're going to help you out by letting you borrow their phone and then just calling for an Uber. I mean, your wallet's right here. You have money in there, I right. I hope. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know, since you don't know your wife's number. So, never mind, the MDC is a lot farther than I thought. It's farther? Yeah. It's, it's, my house is, you know, it's still relatively close. Like, it's a highway exit down, but it's a fucking long ass way. Yeah.
Charm 124 PD. Okay, five. Five six, mileage six five. Yeah. Five, 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 five. Happiest damn moment of tonight, I can feel my arms. Yeah, and then as soon as we go in there, I'm gonna uncuff you. Go ahead. 